load of this. My God. A dog's life for Australian sharks as playful poachers interrupt feeding frenzy. The predators were feeding off a shoal of fish they had manoeuvred close to the shore, but the canines had other ideas. Most people seeing sharks in the shallows would get out of the sea immediately, but a group of dogs in Australia have shown they are made of much stronger stuff. The bold canines were filmed splashing around in the surf seemingly playing with several sharks trying to feed off Murray Island, one of the Torres Strait Islands between Papua New Guinea and far north Queensland. Greg McKinnon from Irvine, who filmed the unlikely encounter, first noticed the hubbub in the shallows, and a group of sharks had corralled a shoal of small fish into the shallows to trap and eat them. Their feeding frenzy was interrupted by a gang of four dogs who jumped into the water and began chasing and trying to playfully bite the predators. At one point, three of the poachers surrounded one shark which thrashed its tail violently to get away. Mr McKinnon, a site supervisor, said the bizarre incident happened a couple of weeks ago as he walked down the beach after work. He said, it's always appeared playful between the dogs and sharks. The sharks are always in the shallows and the dogs are island dogs, so I'm pretty sure they know each other. The sharks seemed to prey on small fish in the shallow waters. It was an incredible thing to see the dogs playing with the sharks, with two animals from different worlds interacting. Incredible, or incredibly stupid to let it happen. Ah! Ah! The odds of this one are virtually zero. Man, 32, rushed to hospital after he shoots his own penis? Oh my God. Police were called to Brian West Campus in Lincoln, Nebraska, after Peter Jacobson alleged the weapon fell out of his pocket. A man was dashed to hospital after he shot himself in the penis, police say. Peter Jacobson, alleged 22 caliber gun dropped out of his pocket, hit the ground and fired on a busy street on Wednesday, detectives believe. And the bullet hit the 32 year old's manhood. He has had treatment in hospital to gruesome injuries to his genitals, local media reports. The man remains in a non-life-threatening condition in hospital, but has been charged with various offenses. Luke Bonigwitz, an officer with Lincoln Police Department, said the botched shooting happened on Wednesday at around 8.45 p.m. near Brian West Campus, a medical center in the Irvingdale area of the town. Police believe he was simply walking the streets when the gun fell out of his pocket. Jacobson has been charged on suspicion of discharging a firearm in the city and possession of a deadly weapon by a prohibited person. The investigation continues. In March, a 46-year-old man shot himself in the penis after his pistol fell out of his waistband in another unfortunate accident. Mark Anthony Jones was also rushed to hospital in Indiana. Well, well, 